So I just heard in a news story that one of our local feed stores actually had 100 people in line hoping to pick up baby chicks because they have discovered that they don't want to be reliant on grocery stores to get their eggs. They're actually trying to be more self-sufficient and actually have chickens in their backyard to produce eggs. We are trying to be self-sufficient also, and so we had a little patch of land in our backyard, and so we decided to create a backyard garden. And I wanted to show you that today in hopes to inspire you to do something similar. So come on, come on in. So in my garden, I have several garden beds. Now these garden beds we made ourselves, cost us a couple hundred bucks to get the wood at Home Depot. Super easy to make. There's a lot of online resources that I will be sharing with you via my online resource page on faithandfood360.com. All right, so here are my little hens I was telling you about. They're so good with laying eggs, even though we don't eat them. Okay, so I'm obsessed with lemon, so I got a lemon tree. Look at the blooms on my lemon tree, how gorgeous. Birds, squirrels, bugs, rodents of all kinds are an issue for every backyard garden. So what we did is we got these metal arches, once again, Home Depot, and then we got this mesh covering that I just throw over, which is super convenient to be able to keep everything out, but it's very easy for my kids and I to flip up to be able to get into our garden, to be able to get access to clean it. My friend named Tiffany, her husband Billy is an expert tomato grower. This year I am super blessed because I have um, seedlings from him, I guess for lack of better words, and we're gonna be planting these today in my downstairs garden. This is my green onion garden. Obviously I eat a lot of green onions. The beautiful thing about green onions is when you cut them off, they start to regrow on their own. My favorite gardening tool is shears. So one thing I would like to stress a lot is that you do not have to be an expert to have a backyard garden. I know very little about gardening, but yet I'm willing to risk the knowledge that I have, which is the best way to start a garden. For example, I overpopulated this bed. So this is parsley, but this is broccolini, baby broccoli. Completely overpopulated, but at least I was able to experiment and grow some food. For many weeks now, I've been watching this grow and I wasn't exactly sure what it was because I could see it from my kitchen sink. And I finally came out today and my mom made me smell it and it is definitely mint. I did not plant all this mint. I feel like this mint um, reproduced and populated itself. But the good news is, is we're gonna be able to have a lot of chocolate mint milkshakes. So we have decided to expand our garden. We have come down to the bottom of our property where we have created a larger garden. Um, we are gonna be planting my tomatoes and some potatoes today so you guys can learn how to do that so come on in so as you can see we have three tiers of garden we are only developing this first section of the garden because we are experimenting with soil um, moist the moisture level in our soil and so what we have done is we had covered the places where we're not using with tarp by covering them with tarp you actually secure that not too many weeds grow, that your soil stays safe. And um, so that's what we have done. But this is our garden that we have developed. These are potatoes. We're gonna be planting more potatoes today. We have these potatoes in our pantry. And like everyone, sometimes you don't eat them fast enough and so they've sprouted. Adonai is actually holding up a smaller fingerling potato that sprouted. So you literally, um, I just cut myself but I didn't. So what you do is you actually just cut these potatoes um, into smaller chunks but you want the sprouts. So these are sprouting. We want the sprouts and we're going to bury these sprout facing up. So right now my soil is actually still sort of moist. You could see that I can actually um, make a mud clump out of it which is nice compared to my topsoil. It's just I'm super real. dry. Please. I don't know much about tomatoes. Actually, I don't know much about gardening, but like I said earlier, 
it's the point of trying and making an effort that really makes a difference. So we're going to be planting our tomatoes, and I'm not exactly sure if I planted them too closely. I should have Googled it before I came, but where we are, we have zero internet access. So we're going for it. I love gardening, and I love eating broccoli because it makes you strong. So we finished planting our garden. We have tomatoes, potatoes, and potatoes. I'm extremely excited. I'm not even sure if this is when you're supposed to be planting tomatoes or potatoes. But the point is, is that experimenting with a garden is the key to success. Whether it is a windowsill garden, a backyard garden, or a larger garden like this one, experimenting is well worth it. And you learn so much. It's fun for your kids. They learn how to reap what they sow, which is such a valuable life lesson, a lesson that we learn in the Bible. So I encourage you to do something very similar. Please reach out if you have any questions. And once again, I'm going to be sharing resources on faithandfood360.com. I have a resource page with a bunch of gardening tips specifically designed for individuals like you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.